In today's video, I will show you how to share and schedule a Google Data Studio dashboard. I have prepared a sample dashboard to share with my colleagues. Um, in order to do it, I need to click on a share button. And then I can fill uh, in my colleagues' email address and choose sharing permissions can view or can edit to send an invitation to view the dashboard. Uh, the difference between a view and edit is viewer permissions, the user are unable to modify your reports. Pay attention, you can send uh, edit view invitations only to the Gmail and G Suite users. If I jump on the next tab, I can set up advanced user permissions to my dashboard. I can turn on uh, link sharing options um, so anyone on the internet uh, can find and view my dashboard or uh, find and view and even edit it. I don't recommend choosing options, option 2 and option 4. Also we have two tick boxes below. Um, as the first one restricts report editors from changing access and adding new people. The second one restricts uh, report viewers download, print or copy your dashboards. In my case, I will check to prevent editors uh, from changing access. Then I go back to add people, uh, insert one of my email addresses and uh, press uh, change to can edit and uh, press send. I have accepted the invitation to edit uh, the, uh, the dashboard and go back to share and uh, manage access. And you can see that uh, the new editor is being added and uh, I can uh, here uh, delete him, change the viewing permissions, also transfer ownership of uh, the Google Data Studio dashboard. Transfer ownership uh, useful feature when you build uh, the dashboard for a client and you want to send him all accesses uh, after uh, finishing the project. What if I want to modify uh, the data source? In my case it is uh, Google Analytics data. Uh, I cannot do it. Why? Because uh, the report owner shared with me uh, only access to the dashboard not the data source and I cannot add new fields or modify the existing ones. Plus, every time I want to replicate my dashboard, I must reconnect the data source as well. Right now, I will show you how to share access to the data source so that editor receives the full uh, permission to the dashboard. We need to go, go on the homepage, and then data sources tab, and then find the data source that is connected to your dashboard. Uh, and press here and uh, choose share. Here I need to insert my email address and uh, choose can edit and send. Then I go back to the dashboard and right now I can modify all the fields because I have access to the data source. And the last thing that I want to uh, show you is uh, scheduling email delivery of your dashboard. If you press here and choose schedule email delivery. Here you can uh, paste additional recipients of uh, the dashboard. Also here you can customize the subject line. Here uh, we can choose the start time when uh, the scheduling uh, will be enabled. And um, here um, the most important we could choose um, how often the dashboard will be sent uh, to the recipients. It can be daily, weekly, monthly, every weekday or even the custom schedule which is quite flexible. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio. And if you need help with Data Studio, check the links in the description below.